versus J.P. St. Louis. He's grappling out of Ehlers Martial Arts. Bill Jackson! Right. Another one coming out of our main events gym, Jim Ehlers. Yes, yes, yes. He always entertains and he's a bare knuckle boxing vet. J.P.'s out of Fusion, which, you know, is like the brother to uh, uh, the Tribe ATT, which is out of Paul's gym. So you kind of got like a little pretty cool main eventer. Uh-huh. You know. I've watched both of these guys grapple. I've actually grappled with JP, too. Well, so, uh, uh, from your experience, what do you think the outcome is going to be here? Oh, man. I, I don't like to speak down. I don't want to sound biased or anything like that, man. But, you know, I think... Uh, yeah, I understand. It's always hard, especially when you know them. When you know the person. Like, I, I don't think I've ever felt Phillip's uh, pressure in his, like, his passing prowess. But I know I felt JP's, and, you know, hey, it's, it's a problem for everybody. Exciting. It is, it is, it is. But I'm taking away from, I don't take anything away from Philip. He looks game. He looks ready. Anybody with wrist tape for no gi. They ready. That's so, uh, that's so those heels don't slip. <laughs> Can't get those out of there. Ooh, too much sauce. Hey, you heard the man. <laughs> he too much, he's and he got too much sauce. He's got too much sauce. We're going to see how he comes out. So if he uh -huh. comes out with the same sauce. The man's always saucy. Got too much sauce. Hey. You know Fusion running deep. Coming out. Always, always. All main event. That's one thing I love about the gym, too, is, man, you don't go anywhere without, without a pack. That's good, man. That's, that's important to have. If you have somebody, if you have a team behind you like that, that gives you the energy you need to move forward. Win, lose, draw. It really matter. does. I see a lot of these guys that come out with just like a coach. And they're like, hey, my coach came here, or I'm just here with my girls. Like, man, first of all, credit to you guys that go out there, and you might not have a whole team back here, but you still have the drive to go out there and do it. It is. Yeah, man, some people don't, don't got a coach at all. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we have it easy because we have a great support system. But you guys that go out there, and you're just grinding on your own, too. Here we go. Here it goes. See what we got going here. Purple belt main event starting. Right into the hand fighting as every match has done thus far. That's his calculated stuff right there. Control of the hands. Good ring control. A little drop right to it. Right into the guillotine attempt, and he looks like he's got it locked in. If he could sure crunch that does. head down, crunch his head down to the right side, he could get that finish. Yeah, that thing is tight. He's it got those big old arms tight. too. He's crunching down there. He needs to get that that left arm over the oh, shoulder. Like he's almost got his head get out. That left arm over the shoulder. Oh, he's got him down too. Nice. It was great till he rolled good up. Escape, man. He had a deep. He had a nice, good recovery and. Now back up against the cage again. Not too worried about the guillotine. Seems like he's pretty confident in his defense there. He was. I think that was a little deeper than uh, Philip might have wanted it to be. Great use of the cage here, too. Oh, absolutely. Going for the Kimura grip, using the cage to kind of retain control and not give his back up. And great job by JP to actually use the cage to get back up. Nullifies 100%. that. up in a little bit of a situation here. These are guys that got really good IQ. I haven't seen a lot of guys oh, with the hand on the head. Oh, very nice. Way to push the head, beautiful. Way to recover, man, very good recovery. It's, the placement on the head, that's really what it was. You know, the head can't come up, you can't follow me, so you get the takedown. I can still recover. It's the little things. Pressure going back up against the cage. These guys, I commend them all day. You know, you know, you got five minutes to work, but it's still like, hey, I'm not gonna go out there and do anything too crazy. Keep my composure. Man, I'm a fan of going at it. You just keep going, keep going, keep tripping. Going for takedowns, motion, very good pressure there. Keep working he's for everything. The, he, he's, he's owning the middle now. Yeah, that's what we're here for, man. We only got a little bit of time. That's true. The balls this to the walls, man. Just get out there and have normal, it done. This ain't just a normal rolling session. You're here to compete. You're here to showcase. You know, you want to win. Well, kudos you to you, man. You know, I don't think I could do it. Going against a guy that I just don't know, 
I don't know if I can just turn on the after. I have to give them like a feeling out process at you least a minute turn or two. On the afterburners, yeah. But just afterburners right out of the you gate. you don't get that minute or two, you know? Because if you go and you try to get that minute or two to feel out and they come, at, come with the afterburners, you can get caught. You're right. You're right. You were right. So very good. Here we go. Hey. Both guys doing a good job here. It's a, becoming a chess game. just has his back against the cage it seems like it doesn't seem like he's pushing too far forward he seems just okay with having his back against the cage i mean i haven't really seen philip like threaten anything crazy there uh-huh that, that warrants sense. jp not wanting to be there i feel like he's he's allowed himself to be really comfortable there you know he's pretty much controlling he's got a nice overhook he's got a he's got the collar tie so anything oh, Phillip's really going for there nice. you go he's going for that guillotine hey that there opening. oh that looks like it's really tight He's got a deep grip, and if he can come up on top, that could actually might be a finish. Very good. Now he might be able to push forward and work, play his game, use nice. the game to his advantage. That was a very good sequence nice there. Nice little exchange there. Again, in the counter, JP had that chin strap, head control. The head can't go anywhere. Your body can't follow. Just gives you time to get a whole lot of stuff done. I love the Looking pressure like, here. Uh, oh, getting right to the guard pass and right from side control, step over. hopped right over, stepped right over into the mount. Looks like he's working to get that pressure to get that head and arm in. Gets his leg trapped right in though. He should have tried to windshield, windshield wiper, wiper yeah. across to the other side and he got caught right in the But he's right just so mix. tight right there. That alone is tight right by itself. He hasn't even got the leg over yet. You gotta slide him off that cage and slide that knee out. That cage could actually help him out, man. Could help him uh, get a little bit more momentum, uh, get a little more distance to finish that choke. Doesn't look like he's uh, struggling too bad there. He's just kind of hanging out in that spot, uh, holding his guard. Yeah, I think Ty, uh, uh, Philip thinks he's just like, hey, man, this is uncomfortable, but it's not doing anything crazy. Ah. Uh, Got to be careful not to give him the right angle, though, because that could, that could That's change. That's a great recovery. There you go. Very nice. Pretty beautiful. The, now we're in his guard, and he wants to get back up, and that's what he does. Those are a couple of times I feel like Philip needs to be a little bit more active. Well, he's, he's looking more active now. Yeah, he's got to. He's getting there. He's just getting caught on things coming in. grinding continual grinding against the cage and JP does not seem phased by it going for a Kimura now oh man oh hey, way to let go didn't have the control that he needed for it and now the time looks like we're heading into overtime for our purple ball main event and now of course there's a the flip of the coin and then after the flip of the coin We'll see where they're going to decide their fate at. Oh, he chose to have the arm bar. Yeah, chose to have his arm bar. I mean, that's, that's dangerous. Like I said, that's a double-edged sword. Yeah, you got to be real confident in your arm bar game here. Because you can be out real quick. This Overtown round is brought to you by One Plant. Combat Knight, Retro Grappler, Graphics Your Way, and Black Lab Organics all coming together to make this happen. Thank you so much. We are grateful for all of your support to this submission grappling community. And here we go, starting this Overtime round. Oh, automatic stack, automatic stack. Beautiful job. Seems pretty confident in, the, in his ability to hold control there. What a good finish. Nice. Very nice control and very well executed. And the Purple Bowl main event ends with a splash in OT. There you go. 
That's what you'd like to see. Your winner in overtime, Bill Jackson. Good round, good round. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these I would have liked to see just go until somebody gets a submission. Yeah, man, because he kept he kept that pressure on um, throughout the whole match, and I I think that he kind of dictated that match anyway. So I feel if that match would have went to decision, they might have might have given it to him anyway. Might have given it to him. Yeah. Um, Very back and forth. I feel like he did push the pressure. I feel like he might have got caught in a little bit more. He got caught in a couple of deeper submissions. I didn't really see him execute very many deep ones. He was trying to attack them. I don't think I saw him execute and get a lot of them deep. He did finish in the overtime, however, so he showed that his technicality and his technical ability is there, and armbar is not an easy thing to finish, it's especially not. when you know when you when the opponent knows that it's coming. So, um, great job by him. That was very nice job. Very nice job. Very good job by him. Fantastic, and now we're getting uh, getting into a little bit of the brownies, huh? Oh, yeah. 